Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. So today I'm going to be sharing just a quick clean and cook with me. This time was such a busy week in our life you guys. We were dealing with so much. We were dealing with work appointments, doctor's visits, we were waiting on test results and then we were also dealing with the kids starting their first days of school. So on a day where I would usually set aside to clean and organize our kitchen, put away new groceries, do all of that good stuff, I didn't really have the time to do that today so I'm going to be taking you guys along with me trying to get it all done in all honesty I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it done but we tackled a lot so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys today I cleaned our kitchen as well as organizing and deep cleaning the fridge along with our everyday outside responsibilities. I did share a mini grocery haul of some of the items that we got delivered from Walmart so I hope you guys enjoy seeing that and if you are new to my channel and you enjoy seeing content like this I would love to have you join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. So once I had taken everything out of our fridge, this was the view, just a chaotic mess. And if you've been watching, then you know I shared tackling laundry, our living room, closets, dressers, and more to get our housekeeping priorities in above water. So now that it was time for the fridge, I tried to tackle it and show it, but a cell phone call emergency really just took over. So I only had about 30 minutes to get all of this done, plus leave to get Jacob from the doctor. Whenever I washed our dishes, I just went ahead and got the kids ready and I didn't really do that on camera. I thought I wasn't going to have time to do all of this and then leave to get Jake one. But once I got the kids ready and they were sitting down, they were doing a really good job. So I managed to, you guys, clean out the fridge and get everything else washed and put away. But when I tell you guys, I was literally, I had made it in just the nick of time. I really, really did. But I was still happy that I was able to get it done. But on the other hand, I was upset that I stopped filming and I didn't really get all of this on film because I thought I would be late getting Jake from the doctor. This was later that day and after getting our baby situated, I came right back to finishing our kitchen. Jaquan was home and he did help as much as he could. But later, I did share a mini grocery haul with you guys. We were actually supposed to get our items earlier this day, but our delivery was super delayed and it wasn't even everything that we wanted. But I still shared what we had and after that, I got to cleaning and then I made dinner.
So I wanted to categorize everything so you can see it. I really hope that you guys can. I'm just gonna start over here on the left side with the corn, and then after that we have some string cheese for the kids' lunches, pork chops, which are my absolute favorite, and then we have four pizzas, which was actually just a substitute for a larger pizza. And then we have a pound and a half of bacon, three pounds of onions, you guys, Kool-Aid, and then our vegetables which is really just consists of green bell peppers, jalapenos, asparagus, which I'll be making for dinner tonight. And then we also have some kale, baby spinach, and lettuce. We also have some bananas along with some heavy whipping cream and butter. Next to that, we did manage to get some kids Lunchables, but not many due to the shortage. Uncrustables again for the kids lunches and then this is our canned goods which I'm not going to say because you guys can pretty much see and read this. To finish off the food on the bar area we have strawberries, my popcorn, watermelon and then my favorite chips. And then we're going to go ahead and move to the right side which we just have waffle fries for the kids and then we have lunch alfredo for myself and then our family's favorite ice cream you guys then we have two boxes of broccoli and cheddar bake for my school lunch and then we also have noodles for us all because we all eat noodles two boxes of cereal bars and then a box of baked potatoes actually i mean scalloped potatoes y'all i'm so sorry and then we have beans for ham and beans and then actual black forest ham underneath that two packages of hot dogs and then the kids do have fruit cups we do have some dip sausage and breakfast sausage i'm saying dip sausage because the dip sausage is just that for actual dips and then we also have two steaks which i'll be making for dinner tonight ham hocks for ham and beans and then the kids favorite you guys burritos and then we have pudding cups we do have our favorite head country barbecue sauce and then ranch dressing hot wings crackers for my potted meat and then last but not least we do have our drinks which is just propel water and then we also have coke So right now I'm just going to go ahead and work on getting our groceries put away. We still have to cook dinner and get the kids ready for the bathtub, check Jaden's homework, and just a lot of other responsibilities to you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on putting this away. Usually, like I said earlier, I would like to organize everything and put it away. But since this wasn't even our huge bulk grocery shopping, that can just wait for another day. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss, still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied
to live and cry to appreciate life and what you give is worth it when you're holding me when you hold me so close i want further in under your skin want to leave a mark so that i can be sure that you remember what's been i used to be satisfied I'm moving closer. 
closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do So once I was done cleaning, Jake went on, we had decided that we were just going to make something nice for dinner and sit down and have dinner as a family. After the long and stressful day that we had, the last thing that we wanted to do was make the kids something super easy and send them on their way to bed without actually having quality family time. So that's why we decided to have dinner tonight and just be grateful and in the moment with our family because we really needed this time with everything that we've had going on. So once I get done with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner. We cooked a fairly quick meal that I knew the whole family would enjoy and I wouldn't hear anything out of it and everyone would go to bed full. So I decided to go ahead and make the steak, some bacon and asparagus, and then you guys will see later that I made some rice. Now usually whenever I cook our steak, I will put our steak in our cast iron skillet. But since our cast iron is on the smaller side, I decided to put our asparagus in that along with the bacon. And you guys, it turned out so delicious and so good. I did make our steaks in our non-stick skillet to save some time since they were so big. To season our steaks, I did use three different kinds of steak seasonings, you guys. The first one that I'm using is the gourmet steak seasoning, and then I used the fancy steak seasoning, and then we also use Chicago steak seasoning, along with salt and pepper, and then you guys also saw me put garlic in the skillet. So I did get our asparagus started a little early. I usually like to let them cook for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how soft you want them. Now keep in mind it's 15 to 20 minutes after I add them to the bacon. When it comes to our steaks, we did cook them for about five to six minutes on each side and then we did give them some time to rest while we worked on finishing up the rice. So you guys, whenever I poured the rice, I didn't realize that I wasn't filming, but to break down how I make my rice, I always use the two to one water to rice ratio. I first let my water come to a full boil and then I will add my rice. Once my rice is in the water and it gets to going, I will turn the heat down to medium and then let it come to a full boil again. And then once it comes to a full boil for the second time, I will turn the heat down to simmer, to very, very low and let it simmer. And then I will just cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes or until I see fit, until it's done. And then that's whenever I add my butter or anything else that I wanna add.
Okay, you guys, so now that the steaks are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out so they can rest. I did not cut into it right away, even though I deeply wanted to know if it was cooked the right way on the inside. I couldn't cut into it because I did not want all the juices to run out. So I let them sit for five minutes while I finish the rest of the rice, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cover our asparagus so it doesn't get cold while the third steak cooks. So here on the other side of me, you guys, I just have the kids prepping the table and getting it ready for us to have dinner. As I said earlier, coming together at the end of the night after a rough day and just spending just this quality time together as a family and eating dinner, it is my favorite part of the day and it makes the kids feel so special and so important whenever they get to tell us about their day. So once Jaden and London get the table ready, which this is something that they truly enjoy doing because they really love having responsibilities and just being our little helpers. So once they get done doing this, we like to just, you know, get together and gather around the table and sit down at the same time so that we can pray and eat dinner and talk about our day together. Alrighty, so I wanted to share with you guys how the inside of the steak looked. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I love making steak, but I don't think I've had any steak turn out like this, you guys. It was so juicy, so tender. It was, it was just amazing, y'all. And the inside wasn't too pink for the kids. They really enjoyed it too.
So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, coming along with us to cook and clean and just get all the things done. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.